Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to be going over Lewis.Symbols. Now <clears throat> Lewis.Symbols is a way of expressing or um, depicting the uh, valence electrons on an atom. And so <clears throat> what you may have um, used to is with regard to you've seen electron configurations where if you're looking at oxygen so uh, for oxygen, the electron configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, and then you'd have 2p4. And so you'll, you'll know uh, from here that because you have the highest energy levels here, these are going to be your valence electrons. And if you count them up, you'll see that there's two and then there's four. So we have six total valence electrons, which you could have guessed because we all know, right, that the uh, group number of an element in the main group elements is going to be the same as the valence, uh, valence electrons. So again, your main group elements, um, you can know the valence electrons by the group number. So if you're in group seven, you've got seven valence electrons. If you're, get, if you're in 5A, you've got five valence electrons. If you're in 1A, you've got one valence electron. So um, oxygen is in group 6A, so we would expect it to have six valence electrons. So this is uh, the way we've learned to draw um, <clears throat> the electron configuration of, of different elements. Um, but there's a way in which we can only, we can represent just the valence electrons. And because the re reason we want to um, represent only uh, valence electrons is because the valence electrons is where all the action is taking place. That's the um, center, the center of reactants um, or the reactions. <clears throat> and the reason is is because everyone wants to be like the noble gases. And in the Lewis model, um, <clears throat> the Lewis model uh, focuses on the valence electrons and sees bonding occurring because of either the transfer or the uh, sharing of these valence electrons. And so the Lewis symbol is a nice way to um, depict these sharing or this transfer um, very simply. And so <clears throat> the way we're going to write the Lewis symbol for say oxygen is we're going to use dots and these are called Lewis dot symbols. And so you're going to take, um, each dot is going to represent the valence electrons. So we got six valence electrons. So you would represent the Lewis dot symbol of oxygen like this. So you've got two pairs and two unpaired electrons. And so this would be the Lewis dot symbol for oxygen. Well, how do you come up with these symbols? How do you draw them? Well, it's really simple. So, uh, let's start with the easiest one, uh, hydrogen. The way you're going to write the Lewis dot symbols is that you are going to, whatever number of valence electrons you have, and again, you're going to have anywhere between one and eight valence electrons. What you're going to do is you're going to take that number and you're going to picture a box and you're going to put a dot on each side of the box, up, down, left, right. But you're going to do it in a circular motion. You're going to go in either clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter which direction you go. As long as you are putting one dot on each side going around, uh, uh, with each of the electrons you have. So for example, hydrogen only has one valence electron. So I could put that dot here, or I could put it here, right? Or I could put it anywhere. So let's put it here, right? So it doesn't matter which side, as long as it's on the side. The next thing is, uh, what's who's next? So helium. Now, uh, helium, is special. Uh, normally we would go around, we would do this and then this, 
But because, according to Lewis uh, theory, um, the or Lewis model, helium has a full a full shell with only two electrons, and those electrons are actually paired up. So they'll be paired up like like so. And you can remind yourself of the 1s, 1s2, because those two electrons are paired up in the 1 in the 1s orbital, spin up, spin down. Okay. So if we go down, let's go to lithium. Lithium also has one valence electron. So if we go to lithium, so lithium again would have only one dot around it. So the next one after lithium would be beryllium. Beryllium has two valence electrons. So the way we would do beryllium is we would have, we start anywhere. You can start on the top, you can start on the right, you can start on the bottom, it doesn't matter. But once you start, you're gonna go around and add an electron to each side. Only one electron, not two. So then I'm gonna start here, and then I start there. So this is the Lewis dot structure for beryllium. Maybe I'll write it across. So this is lithium here, beryllium. I can put it on top and then move my way around. So I'm gonna go clockwise. You don't have to go clockwise, you go counterclockwise, but I'm gonna go clockwise. So that's beryllium with its two valence electrons. Next is boron. So we're going across the period. So boron has three valence electrons. So we have three dots. So I'm going to start on the top and I'm going to work my way around putting one dot on each side. So I'm going to put second one there and the second one there. So that's the Lewis dot symbol for boron. So three unpaired dots, unpaired electrons. For carbon, carbon has four valence electrons. So I can, again, I can start anywhere. I'm going to just start on the top. I'm going to put one electron there, and then I'm going to work my way around, putting one electron on each side as I go along. So I'm going to put one on the, left, on the right, and then one on the bottom, and then one on the left. I used up all four of my valence electrons. This is the Lewis dot structure for carbon. And then next we have nitrogen, which has five valence electrons. And so now we have five, I'm gonna keep going around. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna put one on top, and then I'm gonna go around. So one electron on each side. So one on the, the right, one on the bottom, one on the left, I have four. Now I have five electrons, I have to keep going. And then once I'm gonna to go to the top again, and now I'm gonna pair up those electrons. So I have a pair of electrons on the top, but I have single unpaired electrons on the other sides. So that's, the, that's nitrogen. So the next one is oxygen, and we saw oxygen. Right, so oxygen has again six uh, valence electrons. So uh, we saw that it has two pairs and two unpaired electrons. Well, how did you get that? This is how. So you start anywhere, but I'm going to start on top. So I'm going to put one electron on each side until until I use up all six of my valence electrons. So I have one on top, one on the right. One on the bottom, notice I'm going around. One on the left, and I have two more electrons, so I'm gonna pair up, I'm at the top again, so I'm pairing up that one. And then I'm pairing up that one. And, and notice that I'm creating a box. So I'm not, I'm not writing my, I've seen students do this. I'm not writing my dots like that. So they're not like that. So I'm making a box. So my electrons are along the side of the box. So these go this way, these are going this way, and so on. So that's oxygen. 
The next one is going to be fluorine. So fluorine has seven valence electrons. So I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm going to go around. I'm going to start on top, and I have seven valence electrons. So one on top, one on the right, one on the bottom, one on the left. And then I got three more to go. So I'm going to pair up this one. Notice I'm going along the top. So top of the box, side of the box. And then I got one more I'm going to put here, so side of the box. And another one I'm going to put here, side of the box. And that's it. So this, I'm going to draw a line between these so it's clear. So this is the Lewis dot symbol for fluorine. This is the Lewis dot symbol for oxygen. And then finally, we have neon. So neon has eight valence electrons. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start on the top and go around. So one there, two on the right. Three, third on the bottom, fourth on the left. Now I'm going to start pairing up. I keep going. So fifth there, so side of the box. Six there, side of the box, up and down. Seven there, bottom of the box. And then my eighth one is side of the box. So it's creating a square. And so um, you'll see I have four pairs of electrons for neon. Um, and so that's how you do the Lewis dot structures for your main group elements. So if you know what group it is in, you know how many valence electrons it's gonna have. And then you know how to draw that Lewis dot symbol for that element. I hope you found this uh, insightful and helpful. If you like this video, share this video. Uh, hit the uh, notification bell if you want to be notified of other videos I put in. Uh, hit the notification, uh, hit the um, subscription button, and uh, make a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think and if you have any questions that you would like me to answer. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.